Okay, hello. So today I will be discussing how to configure intervillain routing using the legacy intervillain approach. So I have here already the configurations given. So we have a router here and then we have a switch. We have two computers, the IP address. Addresses are as follows, and the, the port where all the all the cables are connected are G000 and 0001 for the router, and then FA04 and 05, 04, uh, 011 and 06. So 4 and 11 will be used by VLAN 10 and then 5 and 6 will be used by VLAN 30. So we have two VLANs. Uh, this will be under VLAN 10 and this will be uh, under VLAN 30. Okay, so let's start. Let's first uh, configure the the... IP address of the computer. So 172.17.10.21 and 255.255.255.0. So the, the gateway will be 172.17.10.1. So I'll be using the first usable IP since I'm just using slash 24. Okay. And then the same is true with the other computer so 172.17.30.23 so 255.255.255.0 172.17.30.1 for the gateway so after configuring the gateway so all we need to do is to create the VLANs for example here so go to CLI and then there uh, enable configure terminal oh, by the way I want to show you the the uh, the default VLANs if they are created already so do show VLAN brief okay let me enlarge the window uh, there so all, all of the ports are Assigned to oh, there's already 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up to 24 is assigned to VLAN 1. So there is no VLAN yet, no VLAN created yet. So let's create a VLAN, VLAN 10. So it's up to you if you want to name the VLAN immediately or do it later. So in our case, let's just leave it for now. Let's create another VLAN, uh, VLAN 30. Okay, so we have do, uh, do show VLAN brief there. Yeah. So we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So I want to, what I want to do is to assign the ports which will be used by VLAN 10 to VLAN 10, which are the port 04 and port 011. So there are ways to do that. One is to do it one by one, one at a time, or you can just use a comma to separate uh, the two interfaces using uh, interface range. So let's do interface range, um, FA0, 11, 11, comma, FA04 there. Then what you want to do is to assign switch port to access VLAN 10 for these two ports. So switch port access VLAN 10. There you go. So do show VLAN brief. Now there's two ports for VLAN 10. And 
let's do the same for for VLAN 30. Okay. So interface range uh, FA05, uh, comma, 5, comma, FA06. Then switch port access uh, VLAN 30. Do show VLAN brief. Then there you go. So 5 and 6 were already assigned to VLAN 30. Okay. So we're almost there. It's very simple. Uh, legacy VLAN, a VLAN's concept is just actually assigning all those ports to a specific interface. Okay. Uh, what we do, what we want to do next is to configure the router, okay, and then assign some IP addresses, which is actually the default gateway of these networks or these VLANs. Okay, let's do this. No. Enable, configure, terminal. So interface G0, 0, 0. Okay. And then you just need to specify the IP address. IP add is 172.17.10.1. For VLAN 10, 255.255.255.0, and then no shot. The same is true with um, the G001, so interface G001. So IP address is 172.17.30.1. There you go. Then subnet mask is 255.255. That two five five that zero and then no shut. Okay, so let's wait for the refresh. Uh, the interface is going up already. Let's wait for the umber that there to become an arrow, and then let's try to ping. Just to be ready there. So let's go to the command prompt and then let's try to ping 172. Take note, I'm here at 10.21. So I'll ping 172.17.30.23. So 172.17.30.23. There. First ICMP, I think, is failed. So just for the hello, refresh, then ping 172 again. It should be fine by now. Okay. So, of course, if it works on the other side, as long as you configure the same here, then you can do ping 172.17.10.21. Okay. So there you go. So that is how you configure um, legacy inter VLAN using uh, a router. Take note that legacy inter VLAN uses a single router interface for every VLAN. So that's it. Thank you very much.